Good morning, everybody. It's time for another delicious edition of Texas Oatmeal, and today it's even earlier than last week. Last week we left around 6.30 or so in the morning, uh, maybe a little later to get to the cruise meetup. Uh, today it's 4.30 in the morning. Uh, we're heading over to Grand Prairie or the Arlington area for the Hot Wheels Legends Tour car meet. Uh, you had to sign up for it and like maybe be selected. I don't know. But anyways, you had to sign up for that and then get a approved or something uh, to go to it so that's pretty cool that I got approved for that uh, so we're heading over there I gotta be there uh, around the 630 mark I got a few last minute things to put in the Vander Hall I've got to get my chair I gotta get my cooler full of ice which I'm sure my roommates not gonna like that I'm pouring ice out of the refrigerator into my cooler this morning to wake him up but you gotta do what you gotta do it's also raining outside or it's, it's not raining here yet uh, but it's definitely gonna rain on the way there, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I missed out on the April version of this because I, I was out of town, but it got rained out and rescheduled for today. So uh, I'm definitely not missing this uh, event. Um, I don't care if I'm gonna get a little wet. So hopefully it's not crazy, but I think I'm definitely gonna be driving in the rain today and the Vander Hall is gonna be filthy when I get there. But. I brought my cleaner and brought my chop, my towels and everything, so should be good to go. So we're gonna head out there now, and I'll catch up to you when we get to the meetup. All right, peace. Well, uh, we made it. We. I say we, I always say we in these videos, but there's no one else with me, it's, you know, it's always just me. But I made it to the Hot Wheels Tour car show, and uh, as you can see, no one's moving. Uh, there's a decent line behind me. Um, yeah, they said be here between 6 and 7.30 for load-in, and we're just uh, hanging out. Doesn't look like anybody's moving, most people are out of their cars, and uh, I'm not sure why we all got here so early. There's some more rain coming. And it would be nice if we could get loaded in before the rain gets here. Uh, but it's not, not looking good since no one's moving. This guy's riding around on a pretty cool pit bike. Not that you can see it because it's real far away. But yeah, we're just um, hanging out until I guess somebody up there makes something happen. I assume we're in the right line. I mean, there's, every, there's a bunch of other people in this line. I have no idea. There's no... There's nothing about what line to be in or where to turn in or what to do when you got here. It just said show up. So it's a pretty cool bug though. Just talked to this guy. He's got a little MR2 motor in there. You can see there's uh, no back seat whatsoever. Um, yeah, so it's not very stock. He's got a little over 300 horsepower in this thing. Huge turbo on this uh, MR2 motor stuffed inside this little bug. Now. He said the drivetrain's 1,200 pounds, so it's almost as heavy as the entire Vanderhall, so that's kind of funny. Um, might, be a, might be a good race. All right, well, we're moving. I've moved, you know, 30 or 40 feet, so it's slow going, but at least we're, we're in our cars making progress. We've made the turn into the parking lot. There's still a ton of people back there. I mean, it's back as far as I can see it around the bend back there. So slow going, but we're making it. Uh, maybe not the best uh, example of a Hot Wheels tour car show. Um, but hey, you know, it's part of it. Anyways, it's now 7.10 and load-in ends at 7.30. So I'm guessing they're going to extend that. Anyways, all right, enough updates. Here's some cool cars.
There's quite a few cars here already. And the cars are still rolling in. You roll in, they take your picture, and then you go park so that this isn't some like line at the end of the day when you're trying to leave. But I don't know, so my car's like the dirtiest it's been in months and getting rained on, sprinkled on, not like rain, rain. And that's when you get your picture taken. So somebody from just literally the last meet, this guy, obviously appropriate that he shows up in his Hot Wheels car. You know, a little bit of everything. This cool little Jeep with the replica Jeep. This car's completely stock, no modification whatsoever. The steering angle, that's how all S2000s come. You know, roll cage and everything, supercharger, uh, no interior except for two seats, and graphics, completely graphics. stock. No completely one's, stock. Yeah. This is no just replacing the stock one, that's yep. all that yep. is. Yeah. It was damaged. Exactly. So while it's not super busy, uh, thought we'd talk about this so the parachute ended up working out perfect uh, I was able to repack it with the cover for the car uh, just like the parachute would have been in there it was it was not easy um, but made it happen so I had to cut all the other parachute lines off and everything cut a couple of the the leg harness or the leg parts of the harness off because they were just in the way um, but it worked out great and I love that it's you know for real parachute on the back of the Vander Hall uh, you know, it just turned out awesome. So thanks, Dad. Uh, yeah, turned out really good. And clearly, I need to clean this off because we are dirty from the drive-in where I got caught in the rain. So we're gonna wipe that off, even though it's still raining. So I'm filming this gorgeous little Volkswagen truck here. Uh, that's just awesome. this car it's just an old regular old Dodge Ram you know like no big deal I thought well why is he here oh now I know why he's got a dang old jet engine in the back and look you can still put your tailgate up maybe I need to put one of these on the Vanderhall that gets some attention so this guy got inspired by Shark Week clearly Shark Week's over Obviously, it's just a Jaws theme. Jaws. And this guy. This guy was a TSP Slam. With his crazy rat fink mobile. As it starts to rain and everybody panics and starts to cover their rides, they let the crowd that's been lined up over here the whole time finally come in. <laughs> so, one of those things, I guess. We've got a line of people to come see our cars and half of them are covered. But I didn't cover the Vanderhall, I covered the dash so that anybody that wants to come through can take a picture of it and at least it looks pretty good. But uh, yeah. I should really bring an umbrella for myself, but I just don't think about it. I'll be better prepared next time. I'll tell you what, I'm guaranteeing you that Walmart sold a ton of umbrellas today. These, I'm sure are Walmart, you know, $5 umbrellas. Cause there's a bunch of those in the line. So, I don't know. This guy was smart, he brought a tarp. Or a moving blanket. I should probably do that something that I can cover it with that's better than just a towel but I don't have to get the cover unpacked out of the parachute so this line is wrapped from here all the way down all the way back around through the line here so there's 
I don't know how many people. There's a thousand people here or something. Just snaking through here. And again, guarantee Walmart sold a ton of umbrellas today. Okay, so the rain has finally pretty much stopped. Uh, everybody's starting to uncover their cars. Uh, I ended up going in and getting an umbrella to cover the Vander Hall. It actually worked out great. One of these huge umbrellas. Literally, I could tuck it in between the wind wings and come all the way to the back and cover the interior. Of course, it's a little late. I already let it get wet, but it'll be good for next time. And uh, if it starts raining on me somewhere, then you know I can grab it or whatever. But yeah, the line has finally subsided a little bit. You can see it's not a sea of umbrellas over there. The crowd has finally made their way through to the car show. So yeah, Vanderhall is getting a lot of love today. But yeah, it's definitely been a hit for sure. Well, it's raining again. It's been on and off all day. And it's looking like it's gonna stay that way. There's another kind of big, big section of it coming right now. It's actually raining on it again. But I wanna show off my sweet custom top. Everybody's been talking about me making a top for this thing. Well, this is it for now. It's a sweet $15 umbrella from Walmart. And it's working like a champ. Covers pretty much everything except just the side rails. And uh, you know, hey, they're, they'll be okay. But not too bad, you know, for 15 bucks, custom made. I don't know how fast it's gonna hold up, you know, or what speed we're gonna get on the highway with it, but uh, it does a good job. Sorry, just finished eating a cupcake. So, it's funny, the line for Richard Rawlings is shorter than the line for Free Hot Wheels. Probably because nobody knows he's over here. I'm here to give you the, the, the toughest decision of the day, maybe. Uh, we spent quite a good amount of minutes deliberating. Uh, we took into consideration uh, the uniqueness, the, the build, the, the story behind the build, and the, the purpose, the purpose of the build. We think Hot Wheels, well, we don't think. That's the purpose of Hot Wheels. It's enjoying, enjoying life, enjoying ever, like, such a, a single thing, a, a single thing as a toy car could bring you places where your imagination can take you. So that's amazing. It's a vehicle, literally, to take your imagination wherever you want to. Um, and after a quite good amount of deliberation, we decided that Jeff Kurtz's S2K drift car is the winner for today. Because, I mean, which kid, which kid doesn't want to go drifting around in the living room without getting punished, of course, and not breaking anything. So, Jeff Kurtz, where you at? Come pick your prize. Yeah! Congrats, man. Bring it up for Jeff! There it is, drifting around. Congratulations, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, no, I actually brought it here just to kind of bring it uh, out to fans that had no intention of trying to win a car show with it. That's how you win, with no intention of winning. <laughs> Perfect. Well, uh, here's what we got for you. You've got uh, an official uh, Dickies uh, winner's jacket. I want you to be wearing this in Vegas when it's about 100 degrees at SEMA. Never take it off, not even when you go to sleep. And uh, there's also a little trophy here, but uh, your car will be joining us in Vegas. And uh, one of the cars that is there is going to be made into a Hot Wheel. Woo! Thank you, Richard. Congrats, man. Well, that's the end of the show. They did the awards. Um, the drift car that I got video of first thing this morning, that's the one that actually won. Kind of surprising considering the stuff that was here uh, but hey that guy had a lot of work done to his car so uh pretty impressive i mean a blower on a drift car is pretty rare i think i've never seen one with a blower on it uh so there's a bunch of people standing around over there actually looking at it uh but he won so he's gonna go to sema uh, go to vegas and hang out with those guys but everybody's wrapping up cars are starting up you probably barely hear me at this point uh people are leaving and there's a round of storms right there, so I'm gonna hang out and see if they pass us or uh, maybe I can cover my ride until they get by us or something and then head out. We'll see. But that's it, so we'll see you at home.
we made it back to the house. Uh, it started raining pretty hard on me here in just the last like two miles. So of course, well it was already filthy, but it's you know pretty gross and dripping wet. Gross for the Vayner Hall. You know this car's not much cleaner. But other than the fact that as you're driving, there's no way to wipe off your windshield. And as it gets to the top and it goes underneath and stays directly in your view, uh, it handles the rain or the wet roads just fine. So, you know, it's not terrible. I'm sure everybody thinks that I'm crazy for driving when it's wet outside, but, you know, I had to make it to the Hot Wheels tour and uh, I'm glad I did. So, it didn't win anything. Uh, that The drift car that won. I'm not sure that I agree with him winning. It While it's a cool car, it's a great build, it's not like super clean or anything. It's like, I don't know, there was other stuff there that was, in my opinion, way cooler. Maybe not as extreme or something. I don't know what they, they judged it on. But either way, I didn't think it was maybe the coolest ride there. But uh, it was cool. So yeah, I'm going to keep cleaning this off. I started cleaning it off. I wiped down all the panels already uh, just to get all that off there. Just because as soon as I drove in, it bugged me that anything was dirty on it. But I got a lot of cleaning to do. So yeah, that's kind of it. Hot Wheels store was cool. I would definitely go back again. Got my t-shirt as my little souvenir. And it was fun. But that's kind of it for today or for this week. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.